Hey tennis fans, welcome to another Tennis Express Racket Review. Today we're reviewing the Dunlop Force 100. The Dunlop Force 100 features the latest in racket technology that Dunlop has to offer. It blends some old technology that we've seen on the rackets for several years now with newer technologies. First up for some of the more familiar technologies is Aeroskin CX, which is a specially designed surface texture that improves airflow and reduces drag. Also coming back from the IDAP line is Aeroboost Grommets, which act like a trampoline to give you more power with every shot. New for these rackets is the addition of SPX Shock Reduction. This technology features a glass rod core at the top of the handle to provide enhanced vibration dampening. Lastly for these rackets is the addition of Hyper Flare Butt Caps, which widens the flare to give players a better grip. I just finished up my playtest of the Dunlop Force 100. I really like this racket. Uh, initially though, I did have some trouble adapting to the balance of this racket after hitting with the Force 105 prior to this one. Um, just like Jordan and Joe Lee did as well, I had a hard time with my ground strokes adjusting to the depth. This racket does give you uh, um, some decent power as well as some decent spin, but uh, other than that, it's a great racket. If I had to change anything about this, I would put some of the weight from the head back down into the handle to balance it out more evenly. Um, so it's a little bit more maneuverable. As soon as you pick it up, it feels a little on the head heavy side, even though it's actually head light, but it's a great racket nonetheless. Next up with the Dunlop Force 100, we've got Jolie. What was your initial impression of this racket? Um, my initial impression, I did think that the weight in the head of the racket kind of threw me off a little bit, but I did think as I started to hit, it got a little bit better and I was able to hit my shots better. Um, I liked the spin and I liked the control, but I did think that if I had the choice, I would have chosen something with a little bit more spin than this racket. My serves, I think they were pretty good. Uh, I liked my flat serve hitting this just because I could hit it flatter without worrying about it missing it too much. All right, Jordan, so we just finished our play test with the Dunlop Force 100. What's your initial thoughts on this racket? Um, I thought it was a lot like the 115 in aspects of the power and um, maneuverability. It doesn't really look like an, uh, a 100 square inch head, but it, it still feels like an oversized racket. I didn't like the thickness of the beam. Um, I shanked the ball a little bit more than, than I normally do. Yeah, because the racket's a little bit head heavy, I was, I was having issues on my timing and I was miss hitting a lot of balls. I noticed after I made contact with the ball, the, the racket was falling off. It wasn't, it wasn't continuing to, to go through the ball. So I was, I was having uh, issues with the, hitting a deep ball consistently. Uh, I noticed most of my balls were coming up short. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out some of our other videos. Also be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter to stay up to date on all the latest news here at Tennis Express.